Hello, my name is Zachary Van Siders with Old Man Gaming, and welcome to another Phil Billy original Borderlands 3 build video. Uh, he has, of course, made Old Man Gaming his home for all of his original build videos, and Phil Billy, we couldn't be happier. We're very thankful to you for that. With that said, while I am sure he is going to pimp the channel and our Discord through the course of his build video, I feel an uncontrollable, obsessive compulsive need to do it myself. So you can find us on Discord at the link below that I will include in the description. And of course you can check us out on Facebook, Old Man Gaming DH, uh, or Twitter, Old Man Gaming 9. What you're watching on the screen right now is his opening demo for his build. Um, <clears throat> that will continue until the build video itself starts. Uh, once that starts, Phil will take it away uh, and tell you everything you need to put this together. And as usual, we will have another demo at the end for you guys to see how it all comes together. Uh, I do want to say that as usual, we have time stamped everything for quick reference. Should you need to go back and check something, need to go back and check a, a build part, need to go back and check where an ability is put in, I'm going to try and time stamp it as thoroughly as possible so that you guys are able to uh, quickly access the information. So with all that said, uh, have fun watching the rest of this demo, and then uh, I'll give it to Phil to take it away. Hey, what's up, everybody? Phil, Phil, Phil Billy 330 here. Glad to see the old man fam back for another Borderlands build video. Uh, I'm pretty excited to bring you guys this one as I believe this may be the most powerful flak build that I have come up with yet. And um, that's including my Mandalorian flak, which, I mean, he's he's right up here with this, but... Real quick off the bat, I want to throw a shout out to uh, a couple buddies that I play with on Xbox, um, Econoclast and Jazz. They help me out a lot with some of the gear for this build, so I appreciate that. Um, but all right, let's. This is a gamma burst build. I call it the Punisher because it does just that. It punishes everything that I come into. So we're going to go over here and we're going to respec. And we will start off by going through the skill tree. So let's pop in. Um, let's start off in our red tree, the uh, old trusty damage tree that I seem to not be able to stray away from in my flak builds. Um, we're going to go with some of the usuals. We're going to grab uh, three points in to leave no trace so that we get some ammo back on crits. Um, we're going to go five points into interplanetary stalker, get some damage. Um, we are going to take three points into headcount. What this is going to do is when we get critical hits, it's going to help our cooldown rate to get us back into gamma burst because that is where 
we are going to do the majority of our damage and it's going to ensure that our pet stays alive. Um, I have been toying between these two skills, Two Fang and Hunter's Eye, and Hunter's Eye doesn't seem to do exactly what it states on the card as far as the exact percentages, but it does help, and it's constant, you know. And then Two Fang, obviously, if you max it out to five points, you're going to get a 25% chance to shoot an extra projectile, which for single pellet uh, weapons is beneficial. However, I just, I don't know. I toy back and forth between these two just because um, the thing I don't like about Two Fang is it's, it's, um, it's chance based, you know, it's it's RNG, which sometimes it's not friendly to me. So in this build I actually went five points into Hunter's Eye. I came down here and I went three points into big gang game to increase our hunter skill duration and the effects by thirty percent. We're gonna take the most dangerous game. Um, it's going to give us more damage, both gun and critical, as well as pet. And it's going to last for an insanely long time, as 120 seconds. Then I go in here to Galactic Shadow, drop a point into that, gets us some more crit damage. We're going to drop two points into Grim Harvest. And we're just getting more damage out of that as well all that was I mean these are all great skills but that gets us down to Megavore which I think is Flak's best capstone which is going to get us a 20% chance to crit no matter what part of the enemy we hit um, this build isn't going to use my beloved green tree we're going to pop over here to the blue we are going to take Three points into Persistence Hunter. It's going to increase our action skill duration so Gamma Burst will stay up longer. And we're going to get some gun damage out of it as well. Um, we, I'm going to drop two points into Ferocity. It's just to get down to the next tier. Um, don't really care too much about pet damage, but it, it is it, it can help. Um, because our class mod gives us three points into He Bites... It's going to ensure that we have Frenzy at a max stack of 10 at all times, pretty much, that our pet takes damage, which he is going to be taking a lot of damage in this build. So we are going to pop um, 5 points into Frenzy, and that is going to get us 4% damage per stack at 10 stacks that we'll already almost always have, and that's going to be a 40% damage buff. Uh, I am going to take five points into Who Rescued Who. And what that is going to do is going to give us a 2% health regeneration um, when, we, when our pet deals damage. And it's going to heal our pet when we deal damage. It's just a great survivability skill that we can get in the blue tree. That gets us down to Barbaric Yawp which we are going to be taking with 5 out of 5. And that is going to give a 200% bonus to the um, the little perks that our pets give us. In this, tr in this uh, build, I have actually been running the Spider Ant Scorcher because it is going to not only give us a little bit more survivability, which I'm all about, but it is going to help us out with elemental damage we're going to get a 30 percent boost and we are doing tons of radiation damage in this build as well as uh, whatever element the gun we are using at the time so we're going to take that we're going to drop two points or i'm sorry three points into pack tactics and that's just going to give us more maximum health and it's going to give us a 21% um, damage boost. And the good thing about this, so this build is pretty sweet because the class mod we're using, our pet 
is going to be alive pretty much all the time. And I'll show you some synergy with that. We got two points left. What I tend to do is I come back over here to the red tree and I put them into Grim Harvest to just get some more, uh, more free damage, I guess. So that would be the skills for this build. Now, you might be saying, oh, this is a lot like, you know, I mean, I mean, you can only build Gimber so many ways, right? But where I found so much success was with some of the gear that I got for this. And it, it works so well. So I'm going to start right down here before we even talk about the guns. We're going to talk about this class mod. So we got the Prideful Red Fang. And I got rolls for 28% splash damage boost, a 25% weapon damage boost, and a 31% pistol damage boost. Now, I haven't found um, too many it, uh, pistols that I love for this build. Like, technically, Torg pistols would be good, but I like my shotguns. But that's all your preference, obviously. Um, but this is going to, anytime our pet is in gamma burst, he's going to taunt all enemies. And the good thing is, is it, this build is so survivable because no one's paying attention to me half the time. Um, and when our pet's in gamma burst, he can't die. And he might die as soon as we get out of gamma burst, but what we do is we use some of our weapons to proc our head count so fast that we're going to be able to pop gamma burst again and it's going to pick our pet up obviously you don't want to have your pet go down all the time because your um your cooldown will continue to get slower but so we are going to like i said be running a red fang in this build i got this level 53 stopgap that I farmed up and it has a pretty decent anointment for gamma burst so on action skill end 30% of all damage taken is returned to attackers for a short time well we're only going to be out of our action skill for a short time while we're trying to get headcount procs to get right back into gamma burst so in this short time um, when enemies attack us because their focus will be drawn away from our pet who is taunting, uh, they are going to receive 30% of all damage back to them. So it, this has helped me a lot actually because they'll start shooting me and next thing you know they sometimes just die if they were already weakened, which is great. So plus the stop gap has the awesome ability that when my shield breaks um, I go immune to damage for five seconds so it allows me to reposition and once the shield recharges this process restarts for grenade we are running the cloning maddening tracker um, all I'm really using this for is the anointment where on grenade throne Weapon grenade and action skill damage is up 25% for 6 seconds. It's just a nice little uh, damage boost. Plus this grenade can crit, so if you start to run low on ammo, if you might be using a rocket launcher or something, if you're holding that rocket launcher, those crits from the grenade will actually uh, proc head count and refill your rocket la launcher ammo which is really nice, especially if you're running something like a Lomp or a Scourge. Um, it can come in handy. So that's the grenade. And then for our Relic, we are running an Atom Bomb idol, uh, Auto Idle. So the Auto Idle part, um, we are going to get um, health regen back on killing an enemy, which this build is going to shred through trash mobs so that's going to be a constant flow of health coming back in it also has the substat of plus uh max health plus area of effect damage which comes in handy with a lot of the weapons that we're using and plus 44 fight for your life duration which i tend to appreciate because 
it just gives me that comfortability of not having to panic if I go down. And the atom, bu- uh, uh, atom bomb synergizes very well with gamma burst because we're getting bonus aura damage, uh, radiation aura damage, and and bonus aura burst damage. So it works out really well. I, I actually like the um, boost that we're getting off of this relic. Now let's get into the weapons. First off, it's no secret the gearbox has buffed the lob and it's actually a very good gun now. I wouldn't say it is over pow- well, it it's it's powerful, don't get me wrong. But there is a drawback to the gun. The 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 orbs that it shoots out move extremely slow. So it's not the end all be all. Um it has its situations where it is amazing, which you'll I'm sure you saw some of in the well no, you'll see it in the at the end of the video. Uh, in the opening, I uh, showed the Wotan kill, which we didn't really use the lob during that. Um, but if you guys stick around at the end, I'll show you uh, a run through the Valkyries. And I get to kind of show off a little bit of all the guns we're running. So, you know, it, this thing wrecks. And it's Gamma Burst Anointed. So, it's getting 115% bonus radiation damage on top of the 7,857 damage per shot, this thing is really, really powerful in the right situations. Then we have the Brainstormer, which I also found Gamma Bursts. So it's going to be shock and radiation damage it's putting out while you're in Gamma Burst. And this is the gun that when Gamma Burst ends, if there's a, a few guys somewhat near each other, this is what we are going to be using to proc our head count to get right back into Gamma Burst. It, it procs head count so fast by chaining enemies and through Megavore getting that 20% chance to crit. It's, a, it's awesome. Plus the gun does some work in its own right. I also, from uh, some buddies, helped me out and... We got the wedding invitation with, that is not the right one. Uh, shoot, it must be in my bank. I was using it in the playthrough you saw, but I have a wedding invitation that has Gamma Burst anointment. So you get that bonus Gamma Burst on top of, um, on, while you're, bonus gamma burst damage on top of the gun's already great damage which is going to this gun also is helped by the splash damage buffs we have on this build because its ricochets actually do deal splash damage and what's cool is we're getting so we're getting fire damage obviously the ricochets are cryo so there's fire and cryo, and then we're getting radiation damage with the gamma burst tonight. I, I know this is the wrong one, but I do have it, and I used it in the in the uh, videos you guys saw. This fourth slot here is kind of a floater. Um, you, I kind of stick in whatever is needed at the time. I do have this lob. It's not gamma burst radi or uh, anointed, but this gun's just a it's a great weapon and um so the anointment's not really helping us but against armored enemies this thing will still destroy now as far as other weapons i like to use in this build i have a gamma burst carrier this thing does great work um it stacks crits super fast as well and it can clear like trash mobs so fast it it's a really good gun. I highly recommend it. Um, I got my cut Cutsman's. I have them in all the elements. Uh, they are not Gamma Burst Anointed, but you guys know the Cutsman's a great gun. Doesn't really matter about... I mean, the anointment helps, but even without it, it'll, it'll do some work. I got my Scourge, which I'm sure you noticed I used in the Wotan kill to take out the upper half. 
just because it moves around so much i can't hit it with cutsman very easily because i'm trash i guess and i'm not great at leading that upper half so i just use this because it has the little homing rockets that fly in and get it and this is a splash damage on action skill end which isn't really helping the gamma burst build too much but when it does run out if you get a couple shots off you're going to get that uh 125 125 percent increased weapon damage uh, i have a cryo lob which i do use in this build at times because this anointment is on action skill on the next two magazines will have 50 percent additional cryo damage and sometimes I can get a lot of shots with this bonus cryo damage because we're proccing headcount when we hit our enemies correctly. And that's going to refill the mag so you're not reloading. So we're going to get um, more damage uh, for longer out of that. But these lobs are just pretty good guns all around anymore. Um... And yeah, so that's about it on this build that I'm using. And I'm telling you guys, if you haven't tried something like this out, I strongly uh, advise you to do so. I did forget to show you um, real quick. So we're running the Spider Ant Scorcher, like I said. And then as far as our perks on our Gamma Burst Tree, I've been running Empathic Rage to give us... Um, more damage while gamma burst is active 20 percent free damage and endurance which is gonna when we kill enemies it's gonna make gamma burst last a little longer but yeah so this is the punisher flak build uh check it out i hope you guys enjoy hope this helps you guys out um stick around we'll i'll put it up now um you're gonna be seeing me going through the valkyrie squad with this build right now and it's going to show you the synergy with all the weapons that we're using as well as the gamma burst skill all right you guys well i hope you enjoy please like comment and subscribe if you guys are on xbox um feel free to hit me up and i can help you out with some of this gear if you want to try out the build um we have a discord now for the old man gaming channel um i urge you guys to come hang out with us there we got a few people in it's a small channel obviously and a small discord but it's growing and we would love to see you guys in there becoming members of the old man fam uh and please as well if you get a minute um I we, me and Zach just started a um, new video, and it's, I know it's not, uh, not Borderlands content, however, there's a lot of stuff on the channel to check out, but I'm proud of the Monster World Iceborne um, content that I have out there now, so if you guys get a chance, please check it out. Uh, continue showing us the love we really appreciate it and I will see you next time later guys
see you again, Valkyries, when the death song begins to sing. Those were advanced mechs, but we're after something bigger. Keep going. <laughs>